Hi, my name is Callum and I'm going to show you what to expect when you have a lung function test, or to give it its proper name, a spirometry test. This is the clinic room and with me is Sarah, the respiratory physiologist, and she's going to explain how the test works and what to expect. So what's the standard procedure for this respiratory test? So we'll get you to come and sit down with your feet on the floor, sit really straight. We may ask you to pop a nose clip on to make sure that no air is coming out your nose. We'll ask you to take a big breath in as much as you can and blow fast out for as long as you can into the spirometer. And we have graphics on the screen. And the idea is you've got to try and get the hot air balloon to fly as long as you can. And we'll probably ask you to repeat the test at least three times just to make sure it's reproducible and the results are accurate. And is any of this scary or painful? No, it shouldn't hurt at all. If it's uncomfortable, you can just let me know and we can stop. And how are the results given to the patient? So, your results will be compared to the average results of someone with the same height, sex and age as you. And the printout will go into the notes and be seen by the doctor and they can then go through the results with you. So why is the lung function test important? It tells us how well your lungs are working on that day. It gives an idea of a type of lung problem you may have. It enables us to track your lung function over time so we can see how well you respond to different treatments. I'm with Holly, who's just had a spirometry test. So Holly, how was it? Fine. And was any of it scary? No. Great. So what advice would you give to someone who hasn't had a spirometry test before? I'll just say to them, keep calm and listen to the what the person says. So when you're done, the doctor will talk you through your results and that's it. That's the spirometry test. 